Hi, this is Mike Shackelford, also known as the Wizard of Odds. Today is April the 14th, 2023. And the purpose of this video is I'm going to be playing this craps game by Urgent Games. This is on their website. I'm just playing it in fun mode. And I've noticed in reviewing this game, I get an awful lot of 11s. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll the dice 100 times and let's keep track of all the rolls, especially the sevens. And it's my hypothesis that I'm going to get more 11s than would be statistically expected. So let's get started. There's a seven. There's an 11, our first one. A nine, another eleven, a seven, another eleven, an eight. A seven, another eleven, a twelve. So ten rolls into this, we already have three sevens, a six. Another six, a five, an eight, a five, an eight. Seven, a nine, a four, a ten. So to give you a progress report, we're now 20 rolls in and four sevens, excuse me, uh, four elevens. Five, two, five, two, seven. Six, that's a five, despite the fact that it's labeled as an eight. 10, another eight. So 30 rolls into this, we're still at four 11s. Nine, another eleven. There's another 11. Seven. Six. Eight, nine, a 
11. Six, six, eight. So forty rolls into this, we are at six elevens, ten. Four, eight, <laughs> so that's a 12, but it was labeled as a 13. I have never seen that before. So 50 rolls into this, we are at seven 11s. So in a fair game, you get a 11, one and 18 times. So we could expect to have 2.8 11s at this point, but we're at, uh, we're at seven, so let's keep going. Our, again, our objective is to roll 100 rolls. 11. Six, six. We've yet to roll a three, by the way. Twelve, ten. Ten, nine, eleven. Four, eleven, seven, four, eleven. Eleven, eleven, ten. Despite the fact that it's labeled as a twelve, ten. Seven, six. So after seventy rolls, we have thirteen elevens, ten, eight.
seven. Four. Eleven. Eleven. Five. Twelve. Five. Seven. Seven. So that's 80 rolls, and we're at 15 11s. 11. 12. 7. 11, 3, that's our first 3 by the way, 6, 7, 10, Eleven, seven. So that's ninety rolls, and we are at nineteen elevens. Eleven, ten. 7, 11, 11, 8, 7, Five, eight, five, and here is the one hundredth roll twelve. Okay, let me pause the video for a second here to do some math, but the overall in 100 rolls we have had 22 11s. So let's see what the probability of rolling that many is. I am back. I just watched all the coverage and counted again every single roll and I realized that there were two rolls that I forgot to tally, which causes my experiment to have 102 rolls, and some of the summaries that I gave along the way were off. So since I was very clear that I would roll the dice 100 times, I am going to just toss out the last two rolls. So what we're looking at now is a summary of the rolls. So here in column C is the total of the two dice. Here is how often each total was observed in the 100 rolls. This is the probability, assuming fair dice, of any given roll. And this column shows the expected number of times you would observe any given total in 100 rolls, which is simply the probability times 100. So this shows that in 100 rolls, we could expect to have 5.56 11s 
but instead we have 22. What are the odds of that, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. Using the binomial distribution, the probability of exactly 2211s in 100 rolls is 1 in 48,641,642, and the probability of 22 or more 11s is 1 in 39,062,404. Now, next you can see that these results are pretty fishy, not just with 11s, but for example, threes. You can expect 5.56, and we only had one. And what else? Um, nines. We could expect to have 11.19s, and we only had five. But still, it was 11s that by far is the fishiest. But doing a chi-squared test of all the results comparing against expectations, we get a chi-squared p-value of 1 in 520,437,758. So I hope that I have shown beyond any kind of doubt that this game is simply not playing according to the odds of natural dice, as if a person were giving them a fair roll. And you may be wondering why did this game even have what looked like a dreidel without the stick instead of dice? To that, I have no idea. And that is all I have to say on the matter. I will say that this game had a lot of other flaws in the way it adjudicated bets that I won't even get into. I don't think it did any of them properly except, I think, the field. So, um... That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm going to leave a link to my overall review of this software. It has other flaws in other games, and I would like to dedicate this video to the memory of Alan Mendelssohn. Thank you for watching.